Unfortunately, Montreal has reverted to our monthly critical masses because things, despite this being a great cycling city, things are not moving fast enough. Each month we go somewhere different um, to basically show that this is a major arterial and there's no bike infrastructure here. And the more people on bikes, fewer in cars. I mean, this week has really been a special uh, event because we just had a marriage that we're celebrating. So this should be a really amazing ride this week. I'm not somebody who particularly likes parties. I don't know what to do during parties. They're loud. It's not good for my senses. One of the things both of us love doing the most is just riding during critical mass with a bunch of strangers and neighbors and seeing what our city could be like. So we figured if you know we want to get married in a way that reflects our, our wants and desires, no better way. Yeah, it's a very magical time for us is biking through the city with critical mass. So what better way to celebrate our marriage than doing that? Yeah, and the pedestrians are always king and queen, so we let them pass. If there's some pedestrian, we just let them and say, pedestrian, pedestrian, or keton, keton, and we then let, let them pass. Four? Yeah. Every last Friday of the month we come here and we ride and we try as a family to come. But today we had a special event because Mathieu and Jacqueline got married. So what's not to love with a bike wedding before a, a, a mass critique and uh, you know, so that's why we're here. Whoever's in front literally decides yeah. to go right, left or straight. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. This yeah. month apparently we're heading to... Uh, that's Mosset. I don't know. I don't know the, the destination, but it's in the area where the, the happy couple lives. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it shows you, for the routes that don't have bike lanes or good bike infrastructure, it's a, it's a context where you can use those routes without feeling scared or worried about cars. It kind of opens up more of the city, gives you inspiration for what could be if we could extend the bike network to the gaps. I am, yes. That's the voice. <laughs> yeah, that's what everybody says. Well, I've seen you make videos too and <laughs> love it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hello. It's important to reclaim space so that we show others that bikes belong on the street. Cars have too much of the streets and we want more. A really good vibe, positive vibe, really fun bike mix of, of, of urban bikiness and uh, Quebecois culture. It's, uh, it's awesome.